Good morning, Miss Renee and Miss Chrissy. Um, so for the colloidal silver, uh, this is my setup. I've got a glass jar. Um, mine's tinted a little bit gold-ish colored. Um, that's just from brewing in it. Um, I washed it and cleaned it this morning before I started this video. Um, but it still is kind of a little yellowish looking. The water itself inside is completely clear. I filled it with just distilled um, water. So it could be any distilled brand, doesn't matter um, where you get it or whatnot, as long as it doesn't have any of the vitamins or anything like that. Like uh, in the baby section at Walmart, they have a distilled water, but they added vitamins and minerals in it. And it needs to be just plain distilled water. So make sure that your water is just plain. I filled my jar. Uh, my kit came with a TDS meter. I don't use it on a regular basis because I always get a zero with the distilled water, but we'll put it in there and see. Let's see, get it all the way in the water there. I am getting a 0.01 on this, on this batch. Um, it's fine. Anything, anything under zero is fine. So that'll be okay. Um, my lid setup looks like this. I just took the cap from the milk jug here, the glass jar. Um, I put my, my two silver rods through the top of the jar. And then I have my connectors attached to those. I have a, you know, regular plug-in. I'm not sure what your setup looks like, but same concept, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, you just pop them in there. Um, I have to do a bit of adjusting before I plug in because you don't want to plug in um, with it plugged in because if they touch, it'll short. Um, so you want to make sure you've got the spot where you want your rods to be before you plug in. So right there looks to be about an inch apart um, for the rods, which is perfect. So I am going to just leave that be and see if I can get them to stay there once I get close to plugging in here. Sometimes the cord will make make them move. And I'm going to be sneaky. Okay, I'm plugged into the wall and that's it. I'm brewing colloidal silver. It's really that, that simple. So, um, and now I'm just going to give it some time. So I'm going to give it probably 45 minutes. I think mine brews um, a little bit faster because I've brewed batches in there when I leave the, um, when I don't rinse it out or wash it out between, I feel like it leaves some residue in there and just makes it brew faster. Um, but like I said, I did just wash it this morning. So we'll see if 45 minutes is enough. I might have to go a little bit longer, but I'm going to set a timer. I'm going to walk away and then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to go ahead and, um, add video for you. So I'll see you back in 45 minutes. It has been 45 minutes, looks exactly the same. Um, I don't have any kind of um, what they call bearding happening. Um, that's just where uh, some of the silver um, remnants kind of hang or cloud onto my, um, my rods. That's not happening today. I mean, it happens sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, um, but I don't have that happening. I did have to readjust a little bit, so I unplugged, put it back on together. Um, these were a little too close together, so I wanted to make sure they were farther apart. I'm going to go ahead and unplug from the wall, and then I'm going to go into the bathroom with this little um, red light, um, little red light, and I'm gonna just going to hold it. I'm going to do it like here. I'll do it from this side so that that way. So I'm gonna hold the red light up to the glass and I'm going to be able to see, I'm gonna take this out and leave these here, so. Um, but I'm gonna take it into our dark bathroom that doesn't have any um, windows and then I'm gonna run it through it. And what I should see is a pretty fairly um, closed red line all the way through the water from one side of the glass to the other. Um, Sometimes it's a little bit fragmented and broken up and that's okay, but the goal is to have a pretty consistent red light all the way across. 
And when you see that, it's done. So I'm gonna go in, check that, and then I will come back. Okay, so I had a beautiful red line all the way through. Looked great, that was just 45 minutes is all. Um, like I said, that first time that you do it might take a little bit longer or, um, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if it's just that my glass that I've been using it for a while, but it goes pretty quickly. Um, so I just put it right back into the gallon containers that it came out of and I store it in that. Uh, I store it in our bathroom closet um, and just have gallons on the floor in there. But you, I mean, obviously you can do whatever works for you. Uh, I just take a funnel, uh, a um, coffee filter. Uh, again, some people are bothered by the bleached filters and want to go with the, the natural ones and that is an option as well. Um, and then some people reuse their filters as well. Let me see, let me grab my, I've got one over here. My little kit pouch here. I've got a used one in here. Um, and the reason why somebody would reuse uh, them is because it uh, that sometimes you get the little fragments of what's left of the silver um, out of the water. That's what you're straining. Um, and you could use that in um, topical solutions or uh, that sort of thing. Also, it's not gonna hurt anything to reuse it. So that is an option. So just take it and start pouring it. Whoop. There we go. This is it. That's all. Um, once it's, you know, put through the filter, that's it. You're ready. Your colloidal silver is done. Uh, have any questions, just give me a holler.